Rhonda, also known as the sparkly one. I am going to be talking about the things that I got at the thrift store. So I went to Goodwill and I ended up looking down these aisles and searching for things that I can use my Annie Sloan chalk paint on. So I found some great items. Annie Sloan chalk paint can be painted over anything so I thought I would put it to the test. So this will only be like the second time that I've used Annie Sloan chalk paint on, well actually the third time I've used Annie Sloan chalk paint because the first time I painted the credenza. I'll put a link right here, just click on this little icon and it will show you the project that I worked on and it was a credenza, it was like a dark brown and so I painted it white with the Annie Sloan chalk paint. We'll see how it goes with the upcycling with these projects. I'm very excited. I got some more glassware to paint. I'm going to be doing some gifts for people for um, a, a welcome gift to their new home. And we'll see what I come up with. This is going to be fun. Yesterday I went to the Goodwill. I went to uh, Walmart. And I also went to the Dollar Tree. When I went to the Goodwill, and I don't know about you, but I love looking at all that glassware. Even though I have probably a ton in my cupboard, I never want to use what I have to do a craft because I think, you know, they're really special and I don't want to ruin them. But these are so pretty. It's just some um, glass with some carved etched uh, flowers around the edge. So I'm going to take the chalk paint and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this in white. Then I'm going to sand it a little bit to make it look a little shabby chicish, And then I'm going to put some flowers in it for my client. And also this is a little creamer um, dish but it is so cute and has some really pretty uh, leaf pattern on the side like little vines. And so I'm going to paint that as well. So I'm going to put flowers in there too. Also at the Goodwill, I found these ball jars. Now, I know in the store, you can get these at Walmart. They're pretty inex inexpensive. I think you can get like 12 for less than $10, I guess. But um, I got these for 80 cents each at the thrift store, which I thought was good. So I just picked those up. And I'm going to be painting this with the Annie Sloan chalk paint, too. I'm going to work on these things. And as I'm working on them, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And then I'll come back at the end, and I'll show you what they look like. This is my Annie Sloan chalk paint. I have Paris Gray and I have Pure White. And so I'm going to do some projects probably with my Pure White, but I might decide to use the gray. I'm not exactly sure. So we'll see as I go along. And if for some reason you don't have a stockist near you for Annie Sloan chalk paint, this is a great alternative. Walmart sells these Waverly chalk paints. And so you could use these as well. I sanded down each piece that I painted. Look at how pretty that is. Doesn't it look like lace? It's just awesome. I love it. It does have a chalky feel. You can, I washed it under water actually and just to rinse off the dust, I just rinsed it with water and I laid them upside down like this to dry after I wet the paint just to get all the dust off. But that's how they turned out and I just love it. I think they're so pretty. I am not going to use a wax over any of them. And I'm just going to leave them just like that. Because I love the sanded chalky feel. And I used this ring that goes around the jar. I didn't use the top part, but I used the ring because I think that adds a really pretty accent.
That's looking so pretty. I really like it. So I just, I'm gonna keep filling it in with the greenery. works perfect. So that was two dollars worth of flowers right there. How cute is that? So pretty. So for all three of those arrangements, the little jar was 99 cents, the flowers were 99 cents, so that's two dollars, and then the ball jar was 80 cents plus two dollars in flowers, so that was two dollars and eighty cents. And then the white flowers were $3 and the container was $3.99. So that was $7 basically. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, like $13 if I'm adding right, gave me three beautiful arrangements to give as gifts. So for very little money, you can make really cute, quick, easy um, gifts. And I love that so much because I'm always looking for something to do to give as a gift. So at Walmart, they had some really great deals. I bought some tea towels. And they were, I believe these were 97 cents each. And they're pretty large. They're, um, and they're pre-washed. It says lint-free. It says lint-free, but there's a bunch of lint flying around. But anyway, they're, you know, pretty large. And what I did is I, I had these graffiti fabric markers and so I thought, well gosh, you know what, I can make a design on the tea towels for my clients that would be personalized. So I went on Pinterest and I found some really cute designs that I copied and I did them all freehand. But what I did is, um, this is for someone who's moving into their new home and I thought this would be so cute and hopefully it doesn't fade or bleed or anything like that. But I wrote on there, the secret ingredient is always love. And I thought that was so cute. And I love these 100% cotton tea towels. They just clean everything so perfect. And they're just, they just come in handy for everything. So it is a kind of a strange um, setup on here because they're, they're square and not rectangle like most um, hand towels are. But you know, you throw it in the drawer or whatever. But I just thought that was so cute. I did that one. And then, and then on the other one, I have a client who loves cats. Now, where she moves, she's not allowed to have cat. She's not allowed to have cats because it's a rental. But I just thought she would love this, and it's so cute. Look at that. It says, "I don't care what anyone thinks of me except cats. I want cats to like me." <laughs> and I thought that was so cute. So I did this freehand as well. And it was just such a great idea. And so what I'll do is I'll tie it up with some um, netting as a big bow on it. And then I'm gonna put it in the bag. When I was at Walmart, um, I picked up some um, little housewarming gifts for her as well. So this was just a little hanging sign that says Home Sweet Home. And I think this was like $4. And then, since it's back to school, they had tons of notebooks. And I thought that was just adorable. And so it has some little kitties on it, and she can use it to write recipes or whatever she wants to do. I picked up these markers, and they were 97 cents um, each, which was great. It's back to school because you can pick these up. And I love doing just the calligraphy type writing. So these work really well. And you can make signs and all kinds of things. But after I went to Walmart, I ended up going to the Dollar Tree and I found these bags. So they were plain white, two for a dollar. And so I just took my markers and I put that on there and then I had some kitty stickers that I put on there. So I'm gonna wrap her tea towel 
the home sweet home sign and the little kitty journal and I'm going to put that all together and with a balloon on it that says congratulations and give that to her for a housewarming gift. <laughs>